Let's look a little more at the idea of praising and worshipping God. Jesus Christ himself often thanked the Father for things. He always thanked the Father for food and multiplied it at times. Uh, he thanked God for everything. and He often used the words, I thank you, Father. So we should have that attitude as well, thanking the Father. The Bible says in all things to thank the Father. So we need to understand that he's the giver of good gifts and that he's a faithful Father. And uh, the devil may cause pain, but you know what? If you thank God and you praise God, the devil will be forced to flee. That's our spiritual warfare. So we can overcome Satan in part through praise. Praise is a powerful weapon. And there's a lot to this subject. And God hides a few of these truths, I think. It's more like, well, you go and do it. You experience what will happen. But there are hints in the Bible. For example, when Jehoshaphat went out to face a massive army, the biggest, I think it's mentioned in the Bible, of the, all the enemies of Israel, more than a million men, something like this, uh, he knew we, he couldn't do it. So he sought the Lord with fasting and prayer. And then the Lord spoke through one of the prophets and said, You've got to put the singers first, and they're going to praise and worship me, and the Lord will fight this battle. And they did that, and the result was that God just slew the enemy. So sometimes praising God in extreme circumstances of pressure and difficulty will release a blessing like no other. So learn to praise God. Learn to thank God. Use music as a tool to praise God. God likes that, and David was a musician. And uh, obviously we see the churches around the world basically got hold of this idea and likes to make music to God, and that's good. Just let your words be sincere. Uh, really meditate on the Word of God. and Don't live a life of disobedience and then come and praise God. Uh, it's better to live a life of obedience and then come and praise God. Uh, live a life of yielding to God. Live a life of truth, a life of sincerity. God is looking for worshippers who worship Him in spirit and in truth. So he doesn't want fake hypocrites. He wants us to really love him and respect him. And so we have to also learn more. We need to learn uh, how to obey God. We need to learn more about the character of God, that he is good. We need to learn stories of what the Lord has done in history, in our lives, in other people's lives. This will all fuel our ability to sincerely praise the Lord. Uh, but remember, when you're under pressure, Satan will come with thoughts that God is not good. That's when you need to praise the Lord and overcome him. That's how you overcome. That's how Paul and Silas overcame. It's an example to us of the power of God that's released through praise. It seems like praising God in tough times will lead eventually to a massive breakthrough. So something for us all to consider. Uh, David was a man who praised God through tough times and he became very, very successful and wealthy as well. Uh, he really did receive favor from God. So I believe God is not a respecter of persons. If we praise the Lord, if we love the Lord, if we thank the Lord, things will get better for us and God will turn things around. That is sometimes the greatest expression of faith that you can give to praise God, even when you don't have what you want and even when life is uncomfortable. So we have to endure and persevere through difficult times and worship through those times and give our loyalty to God even under pressure. That's a major thing. That is a major test and God will help you to get through this test. Uh, don't spend too many time, too much time failing uh, because you will have to face the test again uh, later on. So if you overcome, you go to a new level in God and a new level of blessing and influence. May the Lord bless you. Now if you find these videos helpful, I hope that you'll share them with people. It does make a difference because if this teaching is blessing you, it will probably bless someone else. I'm not asking any money to make these videos. So I hope that you will enjoy them, that you'll get value out of them, and that the Lord will strengthen you through these videos. God bless you.